won that? Vigilant.
Doing my part. I have held back? It seems that taking out the priest has stopped the reinforcements coming over here. We should be able to stop the reinforcements coming from the other side by taking care of the other priest. Give up. This is they will not be able to send any more troops now. Let us sweep up the stragglers. Good work, Lady Rhea. Let's round them up and cut them down. Thank you. Quite helpful. States will suffer the punishment of the goddess! I can't believe it.
am I even here? I can f Apostates, you sully the name of the goddess! You are the apostates! The goddess is with me! Goddess, have mercy. Forgive them their sins, and save their souls. It would have been better if we'd captured the bishop, but they didn't make it easy for us. What now, Lady Rhea? We must go to the headquarters of the Western Church. Perhaps there is still someone there who knows what has transpired. Let us help, too. It may not be much, but we'll do whatever we can. I am sure you will be a great help. I am glad to have you by my side. <laughs> Thanks, Professor. I really appreciated your help with the investigation. That's it for today. Head back to Garrig Mach. The Church will have to choose a new bishop and do whatever else is necessary to rebuild the Western Church. Lady Rhea is grateful to all of you. She said she would send along a reward. You should feel very proud. Receiving a gift directly from Lady Rhea is exceedingly rare. Still, that was a real mess, huh? For them to come out and charge us so boldly. As am I. We kept Lady Rhea safe, thanks to you. Hey, where did Ash go? 
haven't seen him for a while. That may be it. I hope he's not getting in the way. There you are, Ash. We were just talking about... Why the brooding expression? Hey, what's that bundle of papers in your hand? This was given to me. It has to do with my family. I haven't finished reading it all yet. But I think it might offer some clues about something I need to know. Professor, Catherine, thank you for letting me come with you on this mission. I'd better get ready to go. It's a little painful to watch. I do hope that those papers, whatever they are, will help him get over his past. I suppose it's time for us to start heading back to the monastery. I appreciate it seems I that was I appreciate Ladies and gentlemen, my sincerest apologies for the wait. Thank you for gathering here on the eve of the highly anticipated ball to bear witness to the Academy-wide dance competition. Welcome to the White Heron Cup. The competition will be judged by me, your humble servant, Alois Rangel, and also the acclaimed former songstress of the Mittelfrank Opera Company, Manuela Casagranda! Yes, yes, thank you. Oh, and it should go without saying, but I swear to show no bias to my own house. Got it? Good. Last but not least, the glamorous assassin who does all of her dancing in the dead of night, Shamir! Navron! Hmm. The three of us swear on our honor to judge the following proceedings with utmost impartiality and fairness. And with that, will the representatives of each house please make their way to the stage? Contestants, are you ready to dance? And is the band prepared to play? Very well. Begin! Time! 
That's all, folks. Splendid. All three of you were fantastic. <laughs> now, let's hear what the judges have to say. Oh, my. Let's see. I suppose I have no choice but to vote for... The Blue Lion House. Your performance was exhilarating. My heart is still beating a mile a minute. I vote for... Golden Deer House. The way you carried yourself was striking. Great feedback, both of you. Well then, let's see. Factoring in my own humble opinion... Yes, we have a winner! And I will announce who it is right now! Without any delay, the winner of this year's White Heron Cup is... The Blue Lion House! Oh, really? How lovely! Once more, please give a big round of applause for our talented participants! Thank you. It went well. Well, that worked out. I appreciate your effort. Thank you so much. Forgive me. <laughs> it's fine. Honestly, it's pretty funny when you think about it. I did not expect the horse to react so violently when I approached. No kidding. And I didn't expect the two of us to get covered in hay. Animals have never taken to me. It must be as you said. My face is the problem. I have not honed my smile well enough. I deeply regret the trouble I've caused you. Don't be ridiculous. And especially don't be sad. It's no trouble at all, I promise. Everyone makes mistakes. Isn't that what you've been trying to teach me? Yes, I suppose so. It does look like this will take a while to clean up. But if we work together, it'll be done in no time. I am truly sorry. Don't apologize. When it's your turn for stable duty, I'm happy to help. Really? Sure. And in return, you can help me out when I'm on kitchen duty. Of course. By the way, I tried out all that stuff you mentioned before, about how to not be a scatterbrain. I'm still pretty hopeless, but thanks to you, I'm making fewer mistakes. It's probably not a good idea for me to be left alone around knives and boiling water, though. That's why it'll be really nice knowing you have my back. You have changed. Hmm? Huh? You no longer fear approaching me for help. You simply ask. And now, when the need arises, I will rely on you, too. Do you know this legend, Ingrid? It's about the Battle of Fodlin's Throat. Oh, yes! I know it like the hilt of my sword. With so many valiant knights appearing in this story, I couldn't help but wonder which was your favorite. I really like this one, the one in the middle, the knight who stands in defense of the Duke. Such a wonderful knight. One of my favorites as well. That makes sense. He's so noble and virtuous. In fact, he kind of reminds me of you. I... <clears throat> Thank you. You remind me of him as well. You are honest, as is he. Uh, no, I, I'm nowhere near as great. Maybe someday. Maybe if we work hard together, we can both become knights as glorious as the one in this story. Together, yes. 
Now wouldn't that be something? If only we could. Huh? Ash, the legends are exactly that. Legends. They're not indicative of real life. The cards we are dealt are what they are. We can work with what we have, but we can't change what's in our hand. What's that supposed to mean? I long to serve His Highness as a knight. The sort of knight that legends are written about. But I was born bearing a crest, and with that comes responsibility. Whether I like it or not, I am the last hope of House Galatea. I am the only one who can carry on the family bloodline and restore our lost fortune. To do that means setting aside my own dreams and ambitions. You still have the right to pursue your dreams. Ash, I must ask something of you. Yes, of course. Anything. My dream is aligned with your own. Please, for both of us, promise to see yours through. That doesn't seem fair. I'll never be able to see my dream through. Doing so would mean terrible misfortune for others. So, I am bound by honor not to follow through on my own dream. But, I can help you achieve yours. Come on, this isn't like you at all. Please, don't smile when your eyes are so sad. <laughs> I still have much to- I can do better now. So this is how it's done. This is the only ball of the year, and I see why. Everyone is absurdly excited. Your Highness, you sound so detached. We are all encouraged to enjoy the ball tomorrow. <sighs> right you are. What a burden. Huh. I never thought we'd see eye to eye, but I agree. I'd rather be swinging my blade than wasting my time with some girl at a ball. Felix! Your Highness! You must be joking, right? This is our chance to dance with all of the ladies of the Academy to our heart's content. You wish to throw away the best day of the whole year for sword practice? Insanity, I tell you! I'm pretty excited about the ball myself. It's not like we get to do things like this very often. Too true, Ash. In fact, I'm going to do you a favor and give you a crash course in chatting up girls. By tomorrow, you'll be an expert. Actually, I'd much prefer if someone could just teach me how to dance. Don't worry about the dancing part. I can teach you that easy. It's time for the ball. That warrants at least a tiny bit of makeup, don't you think, Ingrid? Just a smidge? I... Hmm... Maybe. 
I'll think about it. It's settled. Tomorrow morning, we'll meet up in Ingrid's room. Ooh, I can't wait! <laughs> you know, there's no telling where life will take us after we leave here. If only we could find a way to come together again, just like this. A fine notion, Your Highness. Perhaps five years from now? Five years from now? Ah, that's when Garrig Mach Monastery will be holding its Millennium Festival. By then, we'll be addressing Your Highness as Your Majesty instead. That's right. I suppose we all know it's coming, but by then you'll be far removed from us. Come now, you know me better than that. My title may change, but I won't. And it won't just be me, you know. Five years from now, you'll all have your own stuffy positions to contend with. But as I understand it, the festivities at the Millennium Festival will be of a scale far beyond anything we've yet seen. In other words, the perfect excuse for all of us to return here. Ooh, a reunion? That sounds fun! I wouldn't miss it for the world! I'd love for you to be there as well, Professor. After all, you're the heart of the Blue Lion House. Good. Then it's settled. Of course, if something happens and I'm not able to attend, I'm leaving all of the logistics of organizing this reunion to you, Professor. It's true. I'm sure being a king will keep you busy, but it's a bit early to be backing out of your own plans, don't you think? Yes, I suppose you're right. I'm sorry. You have my word. I will return as well. Count on it. Running away? I understand. You hardly had the time to breathe in there. It must be hard to be the favorite teacher at the ball. <laughs> poor, poor professor. Was that a joke? I find it hard to tell with you. Just think of all the students begging you to dance. Professor, what are you doing here? No, I should think not. As a child, Edelgard taught me how to dance. It was a bit awkward, honestly. I've told you before that we're siblings by marriage, haven't I? Her birth mother was my stepmother. Although I didn't know that at the time, my stepmother treated me with such kindness, just as though I were her own flesh and blood. And yet she never so much as hinted that she had her own child, Edelgard. We were born and raised in different territories, without ever knowing the other even existed. Yet, against all odds, for just over a year, we became childhood friends. Indeed. 
unaware of each other's stations or backgrounds. We met and became incredibly close. This was when she and Lord Arundel were living in the kingdom. They were in exile. This was a time of great turmoil within the Empire. I ran into her when visiting Lord Arundel's residence with my father. She seemed... quite bored with everything. At first, I found her to be difficult and stubborn. But that facade quickly fell away, revealing her true self beneath. That's around the time when she taught me how to dance. Her instruction was... Though, let's call it strict, to put it nicely. Wrong foot, Dimitri. You're supposed to lead with your right. Hell, the sun's going down. I really ought to be heading home. That one year before she had to return to the Empire was... so much fun. The time of my life, in many ways. It's kind of pathetic to think about it all these years later. But can you guess what I gave her as a parting gift? Huh. Good guess, Professor. But I swear, it came from the heart. In Fargus, we've long considered blades as tools of destiny, as a way to cut a path to a better future. She was being dragged all over, unable to live the life she wanted. I thought the dagger could help her cut a path to the future she dreamed of. However, that was many years ago. I'm sure she's forgotten all about the boy I was back then. I'm afraid it's far too late for that. Things are different now. She's different. I'm different. Anyway. I'm feeling a bit out of place here. Festivities like this don't suit me. Still, I suppose I should get back in there. Goodbye, Professor. But where is there to run? This place is filled with joyful students looking for a dance. The Goddess Tower waits for you. Who it is. No, I just wanted a bit of quiet. Besides, what are you doing here? Huh? You must be joking. Hmm. Have you heard the legend of the Goddess Tower? That if you make a pledge, it will be fulfilled? Childish, I know. But if it were true, let's make a pledge to the goddess. I pledge that someday I will surpass you. I'll surpass your technique, your skill with the sword, and your cunning as a warrior. Then I will make you taste defeat. A disappointment. If you're looking for a passionate affair, you've got the wrong man. Go find someone else. I've spent my life avoiding love and romance. They're distractions. Blades, blood, and battle. That's what I'm made of and nothing else. If someone saw us, however, this may look like an amorous meeting. You'll have to settle for being mistaken as my lover. It's time I went back to training. I'll always be more comfortable holding a sword than a woman's hand. Try not to catch a cold up here. 
I'd hate for such a good sparring partner to be out of commission. Goodbye. It seems that everyone is having a delightful time. Will you not dance some more? How dull of you. Had I a body of my own? Oh, I would sing and dance until I fell upon the ground. But you... <laughs> do as you will. Oh, you're not the only one who feels that way. Look over there. I'm bored beyond compare. Will you not follow her? Oh, come on, hurry up. I know that you are curious to see what she is up to. I hear someone singing from over there. song. I feel that I have heard it in the past. Actually, it is not that I have heard it. I... did I once sing that song to someone? No, there's more. I wrote this song. Oh, but how could that be so? If that were true, then how could she be singing it? Unless... No, no. I am suddenly so exhausted. As are you, no doubt. Quickly then, to bed with you.